to the workshop. In this video I will show you how to make a saw vise. These are very useful when you're sharpening a saw. First of all I've prepared two boards that are square and I put a bevel on one end. All the dimensions and a plan will be included at the end of the video. Some small battens, one the length of the board, one pair slightly shorter, and another pair the length of the board. Thickness wise, this one pair that's the same width as the board, when added to a piece of piano, vi um, piano hinge, equates to very slightly less than the pair of battens that we're going to use at the top. So when we put this into our bench vise, the boards will remain virtually parallel to each other, like so. Tightening the bench vise at the bottom will act on that hinge just to snug up the top of our saw vise. These two shorter battens will just attach to the outside of our saw vise so that if we're using it in a bench vise which doesn't have a screw to stop it falling through, we'll stop it falling to the ground. For example if you have a leg vise. So the first thing we need to do is attach these thinner battens on the inside of our vice boards. And these wider ones at the tops of our vice boards. So we're going to glue these battens on. This top batten we shall hold back slightly so it overlaps the bevel. That way when the glue has gone off we can come in with a hand plane and match the bevel that we made on the vice board. So we just let that protrude over the edge a tad and then these bottom battens and we will need to cut out some of the vice board below the top jaw to allow for the handle of some of our hand planes to fit in. But we can do that afterwards so that we make sure we only remove the absolute minimum to maintain its strength. Now if I flip those over carefully make sure everything's lined up Okay, so we can apply a bit of pressure to that now and that should hold the whole thing together. My vice jaws are now glued up. One of the first jobs I can do is to continue the bevel at the top of this board onto the jaw that we stuck on there last time. The easiest way to do that is to put it in the bench vise and just plane along until we come down to that bevel.
using the sole of the plane to guide off the original board bevel. We can line that up quite well. I'll just take a few lighter cuts. We don't want a sharp edge at the top here, so I'm just going to take a few strokes along with the plane at 90 degrees to the board. Now that's good. And I'll repeat that for my other board and then we can continue with fitting the hinge. To fit the piano hinge, first open it right out and then place it tightly against the position where we want it, right in the middle at the bottom of the vice cheek. Now we can mark the positions for drilling with a bradle. And drill for our screws. Finishing with a pilot hole for the thread of our screws. And now I can insert my screws. With the first side finished, I can open it up on the workbench and place the other side in position and mark for the other set of holes. Then we can drill and fix the two sides together. Now with the vise in the front vise of my workbench I can true up the top of the jaws so they're nice and flush with each other. Now let me show you with this little dovetail saw how we can use the vise. We set the teeth just slightly higher than the jaws on the vise, tighten up the front vise on the workbench and the saw vise tightens up and then we can file the teeth. You can also see here that we will need to make a little cut out in the saw vise to allow for the handle of the saw. You can try all your saws to find out which is the biggest handle and then cut the recess for that to fit and then all your saws should fit in the vise without any problems. The final thing to add to our saw vise are a couple of rails to stop it falling through any vices that don't have rails in the middle. I'm just going to do that on this one by gluing these two strips at the level that the vise sits in my front vise. Mm -hmm.